next turn. Minor plus five. Way of the Dreadlord perfected. The Dreadlords differed from the Arnor in that they perceived the passage of time, the Arnor with the wasted effort from the per uh, perspective of the Dreadlords. Power without purpose is evil in their eyes, and the Arnor never had any purpose other than to exist. A popular story told to an Ar uh, Iconian long ago was uh, representative of how the Arnor and the Dreadlords viewed the meaning of life. When the Arnor first saw a glacier, he sat and watched its ebb and flow over centuries, doing nothing else, because to an Ornor, time meant nothing. They didn't eat food, they didn't need to sleep. On the galactic scale, seeing such a massive change to an environment that glaciers could bring was endlessly fascinating. The same could have been said of plate movement, except that even the Ornor can't survive in the vacuum of space indefinitely and thus could not watch continental plates move easily. Uh, to the Dreadlords, such is a waste. The Dreadlords had endless purposes to achieve in the eternity available to them. It was, for instance, the Dreadlords, not the Ornor, who apparently came to understand that existence was not infinite. That when the Telenath was unleashed, it altered the laws of physics in the universe, causing space to accelerate its expansion which the Dreadlords conclude will mean that eventually matter in the universe will dissipate and that even the Dreadlords would pass out of existence. With such understanding, the Dreadlords uh, strove to achieve things ranging from traveling to other dimensions to, and realities, mastering the current universe. Seeing if other uh, universes existed and whether they could travel to them, whether they succeeded is unknown other than the fact that they did manage to discover a pocket uh, universe which, ironically, they were ultimately trapped within. Okay. Weapons plus 20. Uh, don't need that one. 17 weeks. Let's get... Basic miniaturization. I'm sorry if uh, some people are thinking this is a little slow uh, game right now, it's just uh, I'm trying to get all the basics uh, down so that I can just crush everybody in a military uh, battle instead of an influence one because, well, I've done influence uh, finishing twice now and I got a little bored. Next turn. Four per month, cool. Five per month, cool. Basic miniaturization perfected. Sometimes smaller is better, at least that's what I keep uh, being told. Has been a transition three weeks, okay. Next turn. Demon Quarks, Espionage, and Novo. Wisp is nothing, okay. Research. week for miniaturization, and plus five. Oh, there's still. Hmm. Spokesperson for the Hydrogen Technology Center had this to say on the new miniaturization technology. Uh, this is quite different from regular miniaturization, which is, as you know, not enhanced. <laughs> Relative new stock fell 25 points. Oh, that's funny. Advanced miniaturization, four weeks. Let's keep building five weeks for that, okay. 99. I want to get that down to 95. Next turn. three more to go until I can actually turn off this uh, espionage, which would be nice, because I think espionage is taking out uh, 140. Next turn. Espionage, the Yor, is that high? Mm, I got 1,800, so I can actually build a few things.
next turn. Advanced Manitization perfected. Remember Enhanced Manitization? Well, this is way better. You get the picture. Expert Manitization, seven weeks. Cool. New design. Possible Defender M2 with Beams 2. Root. And Phoenix M2, which Beams 2. Just with Manitization. Nice. Next turn. Finally done. Okay, let's just put that there. Next turn. Dimity Quarks, Espionage Levels, and Medium. And as soon as they even try to go any higher, I'm going to start just pounding people into the pavement. Next turn. Korath Clan Espionage is now advanced. And Last Hope is finished. Research 100. Nice. Now, would this actually, let's see here, Research 198 BC, if I put that up. Oh, wow. I could do that? Cool. But then again, I, I'm trying to get the uh, social. Uh, let's do social. I don't need, so put that to zero for now and research. So 50 50. Next turn. Oh, I'm actually done everything. Okay, so never mind. Social down 175 BC. Expert miniaturization one week. We finally have the budget to hire experts, and now our miniaturization rock soars. Boot. Hyperion Shrinker. Okay. And ultimate uh, miniaturization perfected. This is as good as it gets. I mean, if you're, uh, if it were any smaller, there'd be innies instead of outies. If we we're, were any smaller, our components would disappear entirely. Okay. Uh, supreme miniaturization, 12 weeks. Okay. Thanks to your creative ability, awesome. Now then, I want the Hyperion somewhere, I just don't know where. Actually, I'm gonna go for... Oh wow, that was actually the most highest thing. How about improvement, three weeks. Next week. Next week. Agent now available. And one more week. Now we have lots of new area to go. Now we can drain swamps into deserts and make it useful for farming. It works, we swear. Terraforming, four weeks. Orbital terraformer. Nice. Now then, I have stuff. Never. Okay, I need to actually put that. Oh, I wish there was one that could just. Okay, military I don't need, but social. Yeah, 50 50. What happens if I do 50 50 here? Still costs 100 down. Okay. Okay. Terraforming, six weeks. Turn. Cool. So, last hope has aphrodisiacs. Sure, why not? Biosphere modulator. Oh, increases planet quality. adapt to us so it gives but it gives an industry bonus I thought it would be uh, something else it's strange increase weapons and production weapons bonus industry bonus economic bonus 
The Dark Angie Lab Super Project allows us to make use of Dark Angie as part of our industrial and military for great effect. Oh wow, okay. Dark Angie Lab. Sure, why not? Shrinker would be 25 weeks here. I'm not going to do that. Micro repair bots. I'll take that one. This one has. I'll just do cultural exchange center. And this one has quite a bit of a uh, social. So let's give Hyperion Shrinkers here six weeks. Major breakthrough on planet Altaria. Report has come that the Altarian resistance has built a dark energy lab. Cool. Now. Hmm. Very nice. Okay. Next turn. Galaxy is a relatively quiet place. Uh, military of 198, economic of 231. Six colonies, and we currently receive 123 per month from freighters from other civilizations. I be the king. <laughs> okay, next week. Right. This week. Okay, and the trade as uh, Altarian Resistance have built Aphrodisiacs. Nice. Okay. Research. Ah, here we go. I would like this one be a research place, I guess. Research coordinator. Sense research point, yeah, Omega. Wasn't there anything else I wanted here? Not for sure, there'd be something else. Don't need a recruiting center, it's based almost 100% anyway. Sphere. It'll take a little while. Next turn for terraforming. The Genesis effect, or we mean the terraforming planetary improvement, allows us to bring life from lifelessness, says Dr. Carol Marcus. Cool. Now then, advanced materials, hit points plus 10. One week. Uh, business have built a Hyperion Shrinker. Voting, BB93, it's awesome. Now then, I want the orbital uh, upgrades all planets, 14 weeks. It's gonna be eight weeks. And actually, I got, oh, I don't have that much money. Yeah, that's fine. Next turn. The ability for a ship to survive in space is well understood, but has been more difficult to understand is how ensure survival when another party is actually attempting to destroy your ship. While many defenses are being contemplated, another area of research is how to make the ship tougher. All ships are assigned a uh, hold potential value, HP, also known as hit points, to the military. This determines how much damage the ship can take without being destroyed. The advanced materials tree will allow scientists to find new ways to increase the HP of a ship. Nice. Mm, do I need... I don't really need speed right now. Shrine of... Oh, okay, what's this? 
Celebrate the hero of Altaria, Tardis the Ornor. Morale bonus 25. Industry. Economic and info. Wow. Two weeks? Done. Now then, let's see here. This is more of a uh, military area, so... I'd just put another industrial sector. This one is definitely more military. Doesn't even have a spaceport, so... I just discovered Sphere. Altaria. I'm gonna wait until the uh, shrine happens and then I'll put that on Altaria. Next turn. Cork's espionage is high. Agent now available. Tartarus was an uh, Arnornian who took part in the great precursor struggle on Altaria that became known as the Cataclysm. In that war, Altaria was devastated and it was during this time that the Drath began to leave with the help of sympathetic precursors who remained. Tartarus rose again to aid the great nation known as the Kingdom in its dark hour when the Empire and remnants of Dark Lord allies known as the Fallen threatened to bring about the ruin of the world. The world that hosts the shrines will have great honors bestowed on it. It is possibly the most powerful galactic achievement in the known universe. Okay. Oh, hence holes. Do I really need to go down the pan? Probably not yet. I could get, uh, diplomacy, lots of stuff, cool, galactic showcase, I think, I can't, I think somebody else already has that, but, uh, we'll see, now then, where is this shrine, shrine, two weeks, Search. Might as well. Next turn. Major breakthrough on the planet Altaria. Truly unique polishes, one galactic wonder. Nice. Let's see the details on this thing. Production plus 88%, morale plus 200%, economic plus 80%, population growth plus 25%. Nice. Okay. Next turn. Expert the uh, diplom uh, diplomacy. Perfected. Stories about intoxication do, uh, don't win friends and influence people, except Dringen. Small details like this really useful in stubborn or getting to know our galactic neighbors. Did you know that Dringen really liked to sing campfire songs and hold hands? Okay, see, that's just the kind of thing we want to avoid. They really don't like that stuff, so expert diplomacy is of paramount importance. Uh, six weeks, okay. Uh, the Altarians have developed micro repair bots. Nice. Okay. Oh, I was going to actually have that. Uh, uh, where did I put it? 
Or with Terraform by. Truly a unique awesomeness. So that's done. That now has a couple more spaces. Let's see, is there anything else on here? Dip uh, diplomatic 33 weeks. Not going to do that here then, I guess. Okay. Next. 57 weeks, okay. Discovery Sphere instead. I do need one space, now I just need to find out where I would want to put it. Hmm. Probably here. 138. Diplomacy bonus 25, that would be 25 weeks. 15 weeks. Drathian Temple. 15 weeks. 11 weeks. That will do it. Next turn. Technology rating is 576. Nice, we're doing 33% of the total research occurring. Probably because I'm just taking over Henry then. Completed on last hope. Yay. <laughs> Next turn. Your collective is now advanced. Okay. What about the Torians? I think they're advanced as well. I'm just going to stop with espionage. Wow. I did not even add anything to this, and it's grown that big. Nice. That's a military star base, okay. Hmm. Okay. Next turn. Now building and nothing. Okay. Draft espionage now low. Iconians low. Majesty perfected. The art of making others bend to our will without realizing what they're doing. It. So, it is something that if you have in history, only the greatest of kings, the most influential of philosophers, prominent religious figures, and computer game designers have held the distinction. Eight weeks to for total majesty, and we'll get that out of the way. How much longer? Uh, 13? I'll probably take that next. Next week. Word has come in that the Dominic Corks has built an economic capital. Okay. Is there anything? Let's see here. 2,000? Oh. 1,000. I'll buy that. Oh. Okay. Galactic Wonder. Nice. Next turn.
Thanks to your racist credibility, like one week off. Ugh. Make a yes man out of the strong taste critics. The result of our greatest minds coming together put forth a series of diplomatic techniques that assure that other leaders think you'll just swell. It's your equivalent of being a supermodel, a rock star, and a famous actor all in one. Diplomacy plus 20. Nice. Now then, there was... Is... Star Federation. 12 weeks. I'll take it. Wisp is the only planet still building stuff. Yeah, let's buy that. Next turn. Alternative Resistance Build a Galactic Showcase. Truly unique accomplishment. Nice. Now then, I'm going. Hmm. Start talking to these guys and see if they have anything I want. AKA something that I can't build. Cut through trading. Economy plus five. Okay, I'll take that one. And I will give you advanced trade. Do they even have trade themselves? No, they don't. Sure, why not? Oh, they wouldn't do it, okay. So they need fast trade. Um, maybe there's something else I can give them. That's pools, no. Let's give them temples. Okay, I'll give them a fast trade. Should be it. Research. Research. Advanced trade. 900. Sure. Temple of Espionage. Galactic Achievement. Let's give them weapon technology to the already powerful Ultimate is not the best interest of the Ultimate. Uh, my apologies, but we can't accept this trade as long as these technologies are included. Which one? Oh, what? Okay, how about that? Advanced. Basics. You gotta be kidding me, really? Okay. Hands rail guns. Okay, maybe not fleet defense. Basic miniaturization. Got through trading. I'm giving you 600. What are you, how much are these? 100? Oh, 700, okay. Basic logistics. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Healing pools. Space mining? Okay, how about space mining one? 
Okay, so they were willing for space mining, which is, oh, a thousand, that's why. Oh, well, actually it's quite a bit. Basic rail guns and mass driver theory. even if it is a little bit. 67, cool. Next turn. Assembles next week. Xeno Economics. New design, Star Fury M2. Shields plus six. Oh, because I got, uh, let's see how my Deflectors! What the? Oh wow, there's quite a few uh, of the uh, good special uh, defenses and stuff. Wow. Okay. Shield defense... So, shields and deflectors are actually different. That's strange. Hmm. Subspace rebounder, dynamic shielding, invulnerability shield. Wow. Ultimate invulnerability. <laughs> okay. Next week. Foreign build up forces prefer to take time of war is a dishonorable and cowardly tactic. By allowing the strategy to be used, we're actively painting the seeds of suspicion and distrust among our neighbors. We come today to fight for a more trustworthy community following the declaration of war. All active warships on both sides will be forced into non aggressive territory. The use of natural ground will prevent surprise attacks that too often follow the build up of troops. Nope. And they have yes. Not quite 50% yet, and everybody voted yes. Alright. Cool. Hmm. Well, I'm eventually going to need to do something about some of these, uh, sieves. Okay, actually what I'm going to do is domestic stats, military, so, uh, social research. Social, oh, let me see here. Which one has the sphere by that? And that should be all of it, so research. Then down. Research, 100%. Wow, that went. Yep, 575 to research. Cool. Four weeks. Next turn. Drathation espionage level, high. Es uh, Iconians, high. Nothing on Wisp. Next turn. Next turn. And last turn for Star Federation. The ultimate form of interstellar government also requires a great deal of effort to maintain. People have very high expectations on the central government when each planet has so much independence. 
However, it also allows for far greater economic and industrial capacity, influence and diplomacy, awesome. Now then, basically everything is weak because I have such, no, I'm not going to go down that tree. Team colonization, don't need. Trade, I don't want. Stock exchanges. Sure, four weeks. Yes, I do. Now let's see. How's my stat? Um, colonies. Everybody's happy. Okay, cool. Next turn. Stock exchange. Next turn. Senate election. This is election year. How will the technologists fare? 74. Wow, they actually uh, did a little damage there. Okay. Now, civilization, government, economic bonus 30%. Nice. not easy to build an interstellar stock exchange, but we got it down pat. We've got the whole insider trading, tax games, everything all set up now. Cool. Unimaginable destruction. Doomsday generator. Wow. A supreme miniaturization. Nine weeks. The last of the semi- annoying text and then I can actually start doing stuff with you know stuff oh space mining I'll get that one next turn Dominion Quarks is advanced Iconians are like gone now I've taken over Problem with the corks is though that their influence is very very hard to push against. Okay, three weeks. That'll be good to get that out of the way. Our space miners can now construct more sophisticated mining bases that can be in their resources, so on and so forth. Cool, general life support. No, I want supreme miniaturization. Uh, we have 39% of the overall everything. Nice. Now then. Space miner. Cool. What? That's going to be a while. <laughs> There's a few I think that have, uh, I don't know, maybe only just the one? Just the one? Okay. Cool. Next turn. Slowly we're getting to the good part. Taking a lot of weeks. Done. Remember how we said that the previous incredibly miniaturization technology was the best? Well, we lied. We do that, you know, we lie. There's always something better as long as you're willing to keep paying us the big, uh, big bucks. But really now, this is it. We tried this technology on a Karzarian wild rider and he's gone. I mean, he's really gone. We're talking lawsuit. We're looking all over the floor, and Vanders here thinks he might have felt something squish under his foot. So even though there may be better techs out there, we're going to be tied up for years in the legal system dealing with this unpleasantness. In the meantime, here you go. When I first read this, I was on the floor laughing when <laughs> like, we're talking lawsuit. 
it was awesome. Okay, I'm going down planetary invasion text. Finally. New designs. Basically just uh, some shield and awesomeness. But one thing is let me just double check. Okay, everything is going there. It's only four weeks for these, so it's probably going to take like 20 weeks for all the invasion techs, and then I can start doing weapons, you know, stuff like that. So it would be nice. Our military rating is 110, economic rating is 253, six colonies with a um, rating of 95, 97 per month from other freighters. Oh, the alternative resistance fell to the Torians. Well then, I guess I'll just have to start building something, shall I? Starship construction, nothing. I will be building the... Yeah, the Phoenix. Done. Now then the thing is, I actually have to put this back that oh. Yeah, military fifty percent, fifty percent. There we go. Net income five sixty BC. Overall rating, 95. Cool. Next turn. Uh, honor, courage, bravery, integrity. None of these things matter if you cannot get to the battle. Now we can build transport modules onto our ships. Cool. Time ship department, four weeks. Phoenix M4 completed on Altaria. Is the military? Oh, it's just barely ahead. Okay. Next turn. Just hope. Dringen is now advanced, and the Iconians is advanced. Nice. Phoenix. Yep. Now then, I am actually going to. Let's see here. Oh, I don't need the Corn Clan. Prime Consulate, I wonder if I'll even be able to get that. I think everything but the Crine, I think, is now advanced. Let me just double check that. Yep. So, economy, no, uh, espionage. I'm going to place one each. I'm told that I might be able to get some techs out of them if I'm lucky. I will see. And I'm back to the top of the board. Cool. Next turn. Actually, I'm probably going to have to build uh, logistics now if I have so many ships. Governors, nothing. Next turn. Crying constant espionage low. Bombardment perfected. Sometimes you have to destroy a planet to save it. At least that's the current thinking on this line of research. Destroy as much of the planet's surface, but it makes it easier to well conquer. Nice. Three weeks for tidal disruption. Constant espionage now medium. Option doesn't always work well, uh, as not all planets have a lot of water on them, but we can drown out much of the resistance by altering the tidal cycle of the planet from space. Cool. Still in Marines, five weeks. Boats, awesome. Next turn. Our 
Art Technology rating is 684. And we're doing estimated 38% of the total research occurring. Wow. Send in the Marines. And we got the Advanced Trope Mod. Advanced Troop Modules hold twice as many troops and half the size. Nice. Now then, where is logistics? I'll do logistics first. Yep. Next turn. Next turn. Cry Cow says hi. Cool. Uh, we're getting better at being able to manage to resupply sh uh, groups of ships as well as star bases. We can now afford additional ships in a fleet. Nice. Next turn. Actually, I think I've gone quite a lot bit over the hour that I was expecting to be playing. And it seems like I'm getting a little bit of a rut. I'm sorry, the uh, uh, it's not as entertaining as possibly it could be. But... Um, Hopefully next time I'll be uh, a little bit more into it. Sorry about that. Hope you enjoyed it though. Like I'm definitely conquering the uh, sieves because well, maybe this is a little too easy. I don't know. Anyway, hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.